Hi, this is Paul on the Plane, and this is part three of our analysis on images from the LRO, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. If you recall from parts one and two of our image analysis series, Faking Space, the LRO was launched in 2009, and we are told it's orbiting the moon, taking pictures of the lunar surface, and occasionally sends us a picture of the Earth. We analyzed the handful of Earth images the LRO sent us in parts one and two of this series, so in part three, we're going to spend our time examining images the LRO has sent us of the lunar surface itself. Before we dive in, however, let's review what real images look like using Forensically, the free web-based tool online that you can pull any image into and use various functions to analyze and look for evidence of manipulation and editing. The link for Forensically can be found in the video description. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to pull in some more moonshots that I took with my P900, where I like this first shot I'm going to analyze. Uh, you can see the clouds in front and behind the moon, which is interesting. So what we're going to focus on today is the noise. And as you can see, when I click on the noise analysis function here of Forensically, you see very consistent pattern of noise over the entire image, really. Uh, you know, the trees that kind of frame the shot, uh, the moon itself, and then obviously the large area of sky um, shows nothing but large areas of noise in a, in a very consistent pattern. Uh, you can also sometimes use the error level analysis tool like I'm doing here to just see if, if there's any anomalies looking for something that might have been pasted into the image or something like that. And as you can see, the, the colors here are pretty consistent. And as I crank the JPEG quality down, I'm looking for evidence of manipulation of the image, looking for anything that might appear to be out of the ordinary and not finding anything. And that's because this is a, a raw image straight from my camera. Coolpix P900, and I just dragged it right onto my computer. All right, the next image is a full moon shot that I took sometime later, and we're going to start by doing a noise analysis, which in forensically is really just a few clicks of the mouse. You pull the photo in, go right to the noise analysis. This this image was quite large, so it takes a, a few minutes for a few seconds for it to load up. And as you can see, when I apply the noise function and slide the opacity slider up there. You can see a very consistent pattern uh, around the object and over the object of noise. And then again, going to the error level analysis tool, looking for evidence of any copy and pasting. Does this look like this was pasted over a black background with all the noise? Wouldn't appear so. And then as I crank down the JPEG quality, actually you start to see the cool uh, ambient light that the moon is giving off here. Some very consistent patterns around it. What we'd expect to see from a real raw image. All right. Okay. From here, let's dive into images that I downloaded directly from the LRO gallery. Link will be in the description. Picked out some very interesting photos here. There's there's tons of photos on there, but I picked out the ones that I thought were the most interesting. We're going to pull these in one by one, and we're going to do our noise analysis, and in a few of them I'm going to do my ELA analysis, and I'm looking for what you just saw. I'm looking for noise. This photo here, as you can see, an interesting shadow, kind of a cone-shaped shadow, but when I pull the, uh, or, or apply the noise function, um, where's the noise in the shadows? And that's the problem with these lunar images. I'm going to just start right off the bat by stating these shadows appear to be completely just added after the fact. They don't appear to be natural whatsoever. They are simply modifications to the image itself. And as you can see, when we are pulling these images into forensically, when we are applying the noise function, the, the ELA error level analysis, we do not see consistent noise patterns. We're seeing evidence of manipulation to the image, things added, and that's what we find in tons of these photos in the LRO gallery. Here I even go into the luminance gradient and looking at the interesting patterns and you know, I'm not seeing you know, any texture whatsoever in some of these parts of the photo. Let's pull in the third one here, and these get 
very interesting, as you can tell. You see some, some shadows there, and, and, and just look at the edge of the shadow there. You see how it's not very sharp? You see it almost looks like it's a kind of a fuzzy shadow there. That would tell me that the object that is casting, or the, you know, the, the, the surface there that's casting that shadow would also have that same effect. It's not sharp at all, which is interesting. Then when I slide the opacity slider up, you can see some noise, you can see lines of noise, but what are these boxes? You know, what is that box there, and, and why isn't the noise consistent throughout the entire shadow? This is clear evidence of photos that are manipulated, things that are being added after the fact. We don't see any consistency at all. You see a number of anomalies, irregularities in the photos. You know, what's that perfect rectangle doing in the bottom of that photo? If we go to the ELA, you can see the colors even provide a little bit more of a contrast to see the irregularities in this photo and the shadows that are clearly added after the fact. Does that look like the real images that we analyzed at the beginning of this video? As you can see, very, very different. All right, we'll go to the fourth one. Here's a couple of what it looks like islands in a sea, but these are supposed to be obviously uh, peaks not in the shadow. You can see some noise in there. As you can see with the magnifier, you can see that some noise is showing up. So as we lighten up this photo and bring the noise to the surface, you can see parts with some consistent noise and then it slides into parts that don't. And as you recall from those other photos that we did, a very consistent noise pattern, but these photos of the LRO, nothing of the sort. Very, very weird stuff going on here. All right, moving on. This is a very interesting one because of the fact uh, this shadow has a kind of a, a different edge to it. The very, very left of the shadow is pretty sharp, and then it gets into kind of a blurry edge to the, to the shadow. You can see the other shadows there not showing any noise. When I increase the opacity slider up, looking for noise and not seeing any. Completely black. These are obviously added to the photo and not occurring naturally. We do the ELA and what is going on with this shadow? We've got a shadow in a shadow. We've got some very, very weird stuff going on here. Very inconsistent with what we would expect to see of a real photo. And as you can see, as we use the ELA analysis, we can really put a contrast in the different areas that had been shaded. My guess is there is that they started with a smaller shadow and then decided to expand it. And we've got some layering going on and I think that's what the ELA is showing us. All right, moving on to the next photo. This also shows kind of a sharp edge to the shadow and then it gets a little bit softer, a little bit blurrier, not, not consistent at all with what we would expect to see in real life. And you can see a little bit of noise in there, again, using the magnifier. What we're going to be looking for, again, is consistency in the noise. So as I crank the opacity up to see where the noise is, you can see a little bit of inconsistent noise, but not really a pattern to it at all. Some parts with and, and some part not. Sometimes, again, we have to use the ELA to lighten up parts of the shadows, be able to use a contrast of different colors. And so as we crank down the JPEG quality, raise up the error scale, we can start to see the differences in the image. And some really, really weird stuff going on here. And this is clear evidence of photo manipulation, editing of the photo, and then being told that this is real. And it's nothing of the sort. All right, the next one we're going to pull up is this one here. Again, we're just looking at these shadows, looking for noise, looking for any inconsistencies. You can see by the number of these photos, there's, as I mentioned in part two, enough photos here with these anomalies, lack of noise, inconsistent noise. You know, what's, what's this? You've got noise just kind of in the, in the middle of it, but the outline of the shadow doesn't have any noise. Very, very weird stuff here. Enough photos in the gallery here as you go through them, what you're going to find is enough to 
you know, bring enough reasonable doubt for any, you know, reasonable person that's looking at these that they're full of inconsistencies and anomalies and, and don't appear to be real whatsoever. So here's an image that is throwing a, a big shadow, a peak, with a, uh, with a large shadow. So let's do our noise analysis here. Don't see any noise with the magnifier. Looks just like black pieces that have been pasting over it. But when we raise the opacity slider up, we can see that there is some noise. Now it's not consistent as we would expect to see, but you can see that there is noise. However, you can see that the edges of the shadows don't have any noise. So a A for effort there, NASA, trying to add noise. It looks like you, you missed the edges of the shadow. Next time, you're going to have to try a little harder. All right, just a few photos left, and we will wrap up for today. Let's pull this one in real quickly, just looking at a couple more shadows of some areas that are hidden from the sunlight. Again, as we would expect, seeing a pattern here of no pattern <laughs> of noise. This one here uh, that I'm pulling up now reminds me of Yoda. Looks like Yoda with some ears there. This whole photo is mostly a shadow, but as we do our noise analysis, as you can see, no noise showing up in the dark areas. Completely fake photo here. Fake shadows, not what we would expect to see in the slightest. We do uh, a little bit of an ELA analysis now and look at you know this, this consistent color, the gray and the purple and the green for that huge area. That just tells us that's that's just not basically black paint that's been added to the photo. All right, the last one we're going to look at here from the LRO Image Gallery. Looks like an island here surrounded by nothing but shadows. Obviously a higher peak. And our noise analysis shows, again, nothing but blackness, no noise around the image. In fact, as we do the ELA analysis, we see very straight edge there. This coloring around the image shows clear manipulation and an edge that was added later as the shadow was added. These pictures are completely fake, but they're on the LRO image gallery. And we're told that these are real images from the LRO that have been sent to us by a camera that's been sailing around the moon for like eight years or something like that. You be the judge. All right, before we wrap up, I've got a little treat for you. Here is a image that I wanted to share with you. It's an image of the Earth. And as you can see, just floating there in space. And I want to show you that I did find one that has some noise in space. So I wanted to show that to you. And I'm going to slide the opacity slider up. And as you can see, a very consistent noise profile. So maybe this is a real image. Maybe this is one that we could say, you know, we, we can't really debunk because of the fact that it's completely full of noise. Maybe this is a, a real image. When you go over to the ELA and we start cranking down the JPEG quality, we can see, you know, what we would maybe expect to see. Again, look back and at those earlier images that we analyzed, but I've got a little confession to make. What I simply did was, is I went into Photoscape and I created a image with a black background and I just went to the filter and I went to the noise function and I just added noise. <laughs> added some noise and then I pasted Earth, pasted a picture of the Earth right on it and I saved it and I pulled it into Forensically and I did a noise analysis and you saw what happened. Nothing but, nothing but noise shows up, so this stuff's easy to fake. I'm wondering why the pictures that we get from these, from the LRO and these cameras don't have any noise. Food for thought. Okay, that's a wrap on our three-part Faking Space series of the LRO and the Earth and Moon images the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has been sending us over the last seven or eight years. 
Well, let's do a quick recap on the LRO series as a whole. The images of the Earth we have been provided by NASA seem to have boxes around them or show evidence of JPEG compression, meaning they've been pasted onto a black background. We've seen mountains or hills removed. We're told that the image the LRO captured of the Earth in 2010 from 239,000 miles away is a mirror, exact mirror image of a composite picture pieced together by strip data in 2004 from a mere 438 miles away from the Earth. We find no noise in the shadows and dark areas of the image of the Earth or the moon surface itself, meaning they aren't real, and we don't see any evidence of ambient light, which we most certainly should if the pictures are in fact genuine. In our next series of Faking Space videos, we will be analyzing images we've been given from the Discover satellite, the Deep Space Climate Observatory, and its epic camera, which we are told is taking amazing pictures of the Earth from a million miles away. Remember those boxes that appeared around the Earth LRO images? Well, we haven't seen the last of those by a long shot, so stay tuned. We've got a ton more in store. On behalf of Archer Sage, this has been Paul on the Plane. Thanks for watching.